got my courage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. I'm Corey Newman. I'm 16 years old and I go to Camping College. Cerebral palsy has its challenges but also has some really nice perks. I mean, I don't have to bring a chair to events. Priority boarding with first class on long flights without having to pay extra and you get the main parks and it's not without its challenges though. When I was younger I did have some trouble with um, pain and being reliant on a wheelchair can sometimes be a PITA. We entered the Rock Quest for a number of years in a row. That helped us develop and get to the next level. Thank you SFRQ for all you've done for us and all the cool opportunities you've given us and lots of other young musicians over the last few years. It's just good old fashioned rock and roll. We are very similar to the Sex Pistols a lot of people say and I also take some stylistic cues from The Clash. British punk is a big one for us. I also am a huge fan of bands like Cold Chisel, Midnight Oil, the Cockroaches, all those bands that hail from the Australian pubs in the 80s and 90s and 70s even. A lot of the older style rock music is stuff I love to listen to and might come across in some of our songs. As far as I say it, we're trying to just keep a dying, amazing old fashioned genre alive that I love to bits. I like to think of myself as a, with the rock stardom as a different person. That by day I'm just a normal guy who is still at school and just hangs out with his mates. But by night I get to, you know, have these big audiences doing things. All the sit down front slurks are just based on observations of the world around me, stuff I've seen out of a car window or read about in the news or how it can be as simple as running out of cream at dessert time and that makes a rock and roll song. Our first single, Rain, had three non-consecutive weeks on the charts and peaked at number seven. Although it took about four weeks to get on the charts. It's amazing having had two top ten singles in a row and we're achieving that sort of success. We never even imagined we'd get to do this in the early days. Vector Arena was a pipe dream for us, we ne but we never imagined we'd actually get to play there, let alone have top 10 chart success and all this other cool stuff thrown at us. 